biggest consideration is paying support. I want to say it's like 400,000. Okay, so it's already over the number we were thinking. Would it, it would probably be on the consent agenda, David, from last month. Yeah. Yeah. I apologize, Jack. My first opinion on this was totally wrong in this situation. It's 1.1 1 .1 was your dollar. The, it's the total, and I. there is a breakdown if you would find the uh, estimate itself, a detailed breakdown of the work completed and the materials stored on hand. I want to say it was about 400. Would have been in this, I, I mean, I, other I than going back to the exact. Yeah, I don't, I don't know yeah. where it would have been, to be honest. These are all preliminary engineering reports and everything. Probably, so. probably not, unless. <coughs> That's all your oh, no, that's, drawings, right? that's some other stuff. Yeah, that's not it. It wouldn't be in there. It's just okay. basically a, a three page. Well, I should take that back. It's about 40 when you add the material stuff on there. But. All right, so what do you guys want to do? I agree with John. We gotta give him something. I mean, it's been hanging, and he's got we either have to give him something, or if he has to go borrow, we have to be okay with the additional charges. I don't know how you want that in a motion. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know what that. But I don't, I don't even know what number we're I, able to just it. I don't know scratch we're gonna... together. Just I, I want to be able to get something done quickly, get some dollars there, and if we need to have further discussion, I don't want to see this way to the 10th, obviously. No. We can't do that. But I'd like to say, I think we've got some conversation to happen. I think we've got some options out there. We all need to explore it and come up with the best plan. If we have to incur some interest on it, I'm fine with that. You know, you go a long ways from a lot of people if they were. You're okay with paying interest on that? It's yeah. taxpayer money. That's kind of what this is coming down to. Yeah. We are dealing with taxpayer money here, and that's why I'm a little nervous about this, kind of probably the same position you are, not knowing right now what a dollar number would be as to what the conversation that you three would probably be having. You know, what would, like Vance was saying, what would pacify this for now? We don't know. Well, I, I think, I mean, I think we need to know before we just come up with a number. I mean, that's kind of right. I, I think, I think, I think I'm kind of with you there, Corey. If we get a, if they have a conversation and we get a number and we call them a meeting, a special meeting, and we can do it quickly, we can. Which we can do. Then let's put some dates on this. Then let's say somebody needs to call KPH by tomorrow, get a dollar number. Do we have to determine what other options we have by Wednesday? I mean, let's just get some dates then and let's get a plan put in place and let's move forward because we're going to sit here and discuss for hours. Would interest ever be part of a contingency plan? Or the as far as built into the contingency? Yeah. Um, if if the attorneys use the numbers that we kind of suggested that there's a pretty healthy contingency in this project. Would interest be able to come out of that amount? I don't know that. That'd be it's another pretty question. Uncharted territory. I realize that. <laughs> so that's where I think we have to really Explore every possible option. I, I just, I'm just afraid that you know, if we borrow money, and again, I'm not to repeat myself, but it is taxpayer money, and you know, in this town, you know, news travels fast, and I don't know, you better think about that. I realize that. Mm -hmm. but the other side, news travels fast when a vendor does not want to work with us because we won't pay bills. All the time. All the time, and that will hurt us even more that will drive our cost of all these projects up because they will put contingencies in their project in their dollar amounts to cover that kind of stuff. No well, way they're going to be way more. Have, they would never bid for us. I think potentially we have a little downsides. No matter right. which way we oh, look yeah. at this thing. Yeah. Oh, good. So go ahead. Go. Uh, just a couple suggestions or thoughts. Um, you know, there's a lot less risk to the city if you folks agree to help with the interest on the carrying costs to a point where, of course, we maintain this. 
second thought I had was if you are willing to co-sign for the loan that KPH would need to take out to uh, cover their costs, then you could share, uh, you know, in those interest rates, and you could also share your collateral to back up that loan that would be requested. Interesting. Quite creative. If I could add, uh, KPH just, they, they indicated, you know, lending capacity, you know, what collateral can they give their bank to get that kind of line of credit to cover these kind of, you know, supplier costs. So that's an interesting idea. Lucas, what do you think? Is that something that can be a... Uh, I'll ask John. Yeah, I was going to say, because that kind of gets into new territory, I believe. And like, yeah. Options to explore, I believe, too, you know, along with some of these <coughs> other, but I don't know if we're in a position. Yeah, I'll go in early tomorrow and talk to make a decision tonight. Well, then I make a motion to make a general plan because we need some dates around this. Otherwise, we'll leave in KPH and everybody hanging. I will talk to John as soon as I get to work tomorrow to figure out different funding options. Then I'll call KPH. I'll call that Patrick right after that. So, Lucas, what's the shortest time frame for a special meeting? How much public notice do we need, in other words? No, you can just, you just have to call the Fargo form and let them know. So is it like a day? That's it. Yeah. It's no, quick. You get the we can do that for the reason. Let me just phone call. Oh. And, and put, post it. Put notice, uh, yeah, yeah. put notice on the door. Post it on the so door. in other words, we could have another meeting this week. Yes. Some yeah. cities require three days, but... So let's, or I mean, what I'd suggest right now before we go setting a date, let's let you guys have a conversation initially here so we can see what kind of a time frame we're looking at. Obviously, expeditiously is the better way here. And they follow up with you by tomorrow. You know, and then we can see maybe Thursday if we can do it. You know, let's just say right now, let's plan. If we do it earlier, but let's say Thursday. If we've got to do something, let's try and shoot for that date. Unless there's paperwork that's going to extend. But let's just, you know, let's see what we can do. Okay. So, Dave, did you have a motion on the floor? No, I just wanted <laughs> nobody second that. I just want a motion to get the or just get a discussion so we have some hard dates. All right, I'll scratch it. Yeah. yeah. I, I think we need to definitely state to KPH we will work judiciously with them to get something to them as quickly as possible. Yeah. However, but that then comes let's, out. let's those guys yep. exercise what yep, the different options are and see what we can come up with. That way, we can make an informed decision as opposed to just coming up with some magic. So Number. Can we get a result? Can we get an update to you tomorrow sometime? So like are we going to pencil in Thursday for the next special meeting, just so that we all like? I'll talk to. pencil out a block of time I'll on the calendar. Talk to John, then KPH, then the mayor, and then I'll we'll we'll let you guys get it. Get and it then on. we can let everybody know yep. that it's really going to be I'd Thursday. Yep. I'd say tentatively, let's just plan on Thursday for right now until tomorrow when we know different or something. Do we okay. do something like morning? Let's we'll see, see where we're at. Yeah, that worked for me. Morning. I have to do it by phone. I'm in Bismarck. So, but yeah. Yes, I can do it. Well, we'll be here for Brian. Well, is Brian? No, he'll be gone too. So we'll have to do it around phone. Is that possible? Or not? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else more on this? I think we've kind of got it squared away right now. Okay. All right. Moving on to the next. I think we are. Yeah. Well, Mayor and Council, we might as well keep the fun going on with Lost River. <laughs> Not to be light, but uh, Jack and his engineer Andrew from Lower Engineering are here to discuss change orders one through three on the project. I don't know if you guys want to get up and give a brief, brief little uh, overview of them, what you're trying to accomplish, and sure, thank what you. What you want doing? Yeah, great lead and great introduction for. Uh, asking to spend more money <laughs> but all right what we have here we've got change orders one two and three uh, to the construction contract um, have you had an opportunity to see the change orders uh, I don't know if they have I forwarded them to Vance last week I, I'm not sure no just just give a little overview of them okay there so the first uh, change order number one is the the uh, in, the infrastructure improvements for the cul-de-sac that will serve the third edition. Mm -hmm. So it's just extending that uh, um, that cul-de-sac to the east there. Um, 
Um, and, and that change order is around $110,000 for these that one. Change order, all three of these change orders, plus an additional one for uh, Lift Station Wetwell, are all included in the bonding. They are a separate line item in the bond. So the money will be there, just not at the moment. Okay. Sure. And so this particular change order, what we're asking for specifically, and we talked about this with uh, Lucas and Jim um, before the meeting, is uh, that the city would consider approving this change order con uh, contingent upon the third edition plat, the final plat being um, approved. So you guys have approved the preliminary plat at this point. Um, so the, the specific request is that this change order would be approved contingent upon the final plat being approved of uh, the Lost River third edition. The Lost River second, uh, excuse me, the second change order is for um, site improvements to our first phase of the park. And I'll show you just kind of what we're looking at for a first phase. So it's in this bubble here. It would be the temporary parking, and then the, the uh, this bike path, and then the concrete um, servant that would surround the, the jumper mm -hmm. jumps. So this is okay. not in this picture that I have on here, right? So this okay. is this this is the first edition park. <coughs> oh, okay. Yes. So this wouldn't include, you know, as as part of the as part of the construction contract, it's already being graded. Storm sewer, uh, varied storm is already provided. Um, it's already being turfed with athletic uh, grass. Um, and what we're adding is the temporary parking and then the bike, the first phase of the bike path, and then the concrete surrounding this jump wheel. Okay. Did I miss anything, Andrew? No, the only other change is we would revise the interior storm sewer plan within the park to better fit the These change orders were developed using bid prices okay. for the most part. There were some items that were outside of the original um, items. So, uh. And that's, those are part of the assessments of the lots, correct? Yep. The park. Correct. Park. Um, the third change order is just to change a few of the I, uh, some aesthetic items. There's uh, a change in the light poles. We um, we in in working with the electrical design um, engineer. Um, we found out that there were some other poles that had that were less ornate, that were less expensive, and so that would be a, a net reduction in the contract. Um, we changed the color of the buffer fence out on Wall Avenue. Um, we picked out a, a, a fence that we thought was better looking, and that, uh, so those two changes basically con uh, canceled each other out. And then uh, based on requests from the United States, uh, the U.S. Postal Service, we increased one of the boxes from a 12 to a 16 unit um, on the third change order. So that would be a description of the three change orders. All right. Anybody got any questions on that? So in relation to costing that are paying these bills for these change orders, <laughs> we're not actually paying. They're not going to come in until we get uh, the bonds. The, the no, uh, well, stuff for our bonds. no. Okay. I I would assume that they'll do the work probably before, just because the, they would like to get. I think they would really like to get that box elder and stuff done, just because uh, the there is an interim completion date on the project, and that's Lost River Road down to Dietrich, and that's to facilitate some uh, parade home. Say shows on along there and to showcase the subdivision. So I'm guessing that and Jack would like that done sooner and later too in that box elder cul de sac area. But um, we don't have any real time frame, do we, Andrew, from them? They've never really given us any type of a time frame when they want to start it or 
Uh, there are some, all the structures have been built, or is there still a couple that haven't? Because that would buy us some time, too. We revised the structures. Okay, and then the sanitary, the, there's a couple sanitary ones in there, too. So there are a few changes to build those that probably come to Yeah. So, I mean, I wouldn't say that it wouldn't be done before you have the funding in place, but I think that it we would will be close. We wouldn't see a request on these until we wouldn't August see a, the yes. end of July. Right? Well, right. It would probably be August now. It really would. Because we'll cut off quantities for the July estimate. Uh, probably the end of this week and then the next quantity cutoff would be at the end of July so this won't be done in we'll in this next this pay period August, August right the meeting then we have yep. 30 days to pay after that yeah okay yep. 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 Yeah, my, it, change order two and three will be on the back end of the project change order one I'm not too sure that uh, Gary from KPH indicated to me that they they don't know if they're gonna take that on before the interim completion date so it would be very unlikely that they're going to get these done. We wouldn't pay for them until they're installed. Right. We would just, <clears throat> once the work is done and installed, then we would complete in place and accept it with the engineer, then we'd, be, we'd pay for them then. Anything else, guys? So we just have to approve the uh, we're, lo we're looking for a motion to approve a contingent upon the final plat of the third edition. The first so change order. And the second and third would be no contingencies. Gotcha. So, so moved on the first change order. Second. Okay. So Dave does, makes a motion. John does a second. All in favor say aye. 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 All right. I move that we approve change orders two and three as provided. Right, just two and three. Yeah. So I'll second. Okay. So Dave uh, does a motion. Chair does a second on that. All in favor say aye. Aye. All right. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Next, Jim. All right. If you want to bring up the report, David. I okay. We'll go through this. Probably the bottom. This one. You're wanting the ditch for? Uh, no, we'll just start at the top and work our way through. That way we don't forget anything. Okay. So the 2017 Street Improvement Projects, all I had on that was this truck route. We've taken care of all that, so there's really nothing more to discuss on that. Uh, the water re meter replacement project, Brian and I did meet this past week. Um, we're kind of going to look at other ways to fund it. I shouldn't say we're kind of, we're going to look at other ways of funding it versus we are on a uh, drinking water state revolving fund loan if we choose to go that way. Um, I know we talked to Lucas a little bit about if there was other ways of doing it or if we want to do it user rates, uh, but we were, that's kind of where we're at now is just trying to figure out where we want to, uh, where we want, how we want to get that money going. Okay, uh, the lining project, uh, lift station number four is a uh, up in Chestnut, that one aligning and coating is complete. Tomorrow, the contractor plans on replumbing that station and taking it, taking it off a bypass. It's in the emails. I sent it to you, your email, Sharon. Uh, lift station number two by the elevator. They completed their bypass today. Lining and the coating are scheduled for tomorrow. Uh, lift station number three over on Cheyenne and Park is uh, being prepared for bypass pumping. This station is scheduled for lining and coating on Thursday at the earliest. Um, we still have some issues with this collection manhole outside of the lift station. Uh, if you'll scroll down, scroll down, David. We've got some pictures. Pre pretty pictures here. Yeah, pretty pictures. Oh, you gotta go all through that. Yeah. Two thirds. It's not real good shape. And we had that schedule for lining on this project and the lining contractor doesn't, they don't think that it's lineable. So I've got some information out to another contractor to see and we're kind of just in limbo to see if the best method is to replace it or see what else we can do with it. So 
that is leads to the next thing that the contractor is planning to file a ex time extension request to deal with this manhole. So this manhole, usually you are able to see about 24 inches into it. There's a manhole cover on it. Well, when we had when the city installed that uh, coupler and that bend on there, we were able to see a lot more. And these pictures were taken last week. I had the contractor pull the cover off so we get some good pictures and see what's going on in there. So we are assessing what the best plan is to move forward with this, and it has kind of delayed the contract a little bit. He didn't get me his request today. I requested it, but um, I'll have, hopefully have it for you at the next meeting. So, but this would be the only item to remain. Would be the lift station number one work. The manual lining is complete. The lining is complete, and all pavement replacement is complete. So, this would be the only outstanding item if they would have to go for an extension on that. And you're talking potentially rebuilding this whole. Taking it out. Yeah, putting a new one in. And you if you said look, that would potentially fit under the. Contract. Yes, I was informed that I asked the health department and they said that that would be an eligible cost. If you look close on the bottom, you can kind of see where the mesh is showing through. So that's never a good mm -hmm. thing when you, mm -hmm. if you, uh, yeah, one of those, it's kind of tough to see it. It's easier in person, but that one may be a better one, kind of right down on the bottom there. Yeah. You can see the first line of mesh and it's not real good. <laughs> and this manhole has got two gravity lines coming into it, two force lanes coming into it. It's got all kinds of stuff. That's our, that's the main. Right. Right outside the shop here. Okay. All right. Uh, the Water Improvement District. Contracts have been received from the contractor. Uh, the attorney's office is reviewing the construction agreement. Uh, if, the, if the attorney approves, then we would issue a notice to proceed. We do have a pre-con scheduled for tomorrow at 11 o'clock City Hall for this project. To and this is the looping, right? Yep. Okay. Yep. This one, I believe the bonds are in place. Good. Lucas, do you want to give a little update on the contracts with this? Uh, the only concern with that one, well, two concerns. One, they're already signed, and two, the city's not listed as an additional insured, and so Jim requested that they add the city as an additional insured to that. I haven't got an answer back, but hopefully I'll get one tomorrow at the uh, pre-job. So we will push on with that. Hopefully I have some construction-related updates for you at the next meeting. Uh, the SSL, the Fargo, plans and specs are being advertised. The bid opening is July 6, 2 o'clock, City Hall. Uh, working on the funding, just have to put some of the little uh, contingencies together to get all that going, and then a facility plan. Adelman Drainage Review received the quotes. If you go down to the, now you went, we got to go to the end now, <laughs> or almost the end. We did receive two quotes, one from Glacier, one from JAV Construction. Um, yeah, Glacier was the low bidder, quoter to clean out, now this is to, to update you or to remind you, this is cleaning out the north ditch along 76th from drain 27 back to the uh, corner between the landscaper and Adelman addition. That is to clean up the drainage along there. So um, we do have, like I said, the two quotes. Glacier was 9,350 and JAV was 11,600, so. What was um, the time frame? We we re we requested that I get quotes for cleaning that out to improve the drainage in the Adelman addition. That's been kind of a ongoing problem, and this is outside of his subdivision. This is within city right away, as far as I've been told. So, um, a time frame to get this done. I don't have one because I was just trying to get numbers for you to improve. Can so, we do a motion to move this forward because. There's drain issues, and if we don't get this done, we can't guarantee that it's either the division, subdivision, or else. Correct. So I think we can take this out of the equation, get it done, then we can determine right if there's still drainage issues in the yeah. subdivision to get him to clean those up. So, okay. Right, you'd like that, Russ, to get that cleaned up too, so drain nicely across. All That's what do with me. Want it affect you? Want He's on the good side. Oh, I'm, He's on the high side. I'm eight or nine feet higher than they are. He's the high point. Um, yeah. You send it to their their. Yeah, sure. <laughs> All right. So does somebody want to make a motion to approve the bid then, or from Glacier? Is that the one you want? That's the last. Yeah, amount. I mean that was that was the least what? amount. What was the other one again? Uh, JAV Construction on Walcott. We've got some work with them and just got a quote from them too. So. How much? I, 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 
Eleven six. It's nine. It's ninety three. Ninety three versus fifty versus eleven six. Yep. Okay. I motion to accept Glacier's bid. Okay. John makes a motion to accept uh, Glacier's bid. Can I get a second? I second. Okay. Sharon does a second. All right. All in favor, say aye. 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 All right. Sounds good. Get that in play and get that. Okay. We won't. We won't beat the Lost River horse anymore. Okay. Uh, nothing new to report on the stormwater policy. The engineer and the attorney have to get together to discuss some of the uh, ordinances and whatnot in that. Um, Arrowwood, Liberty Lane, a punch list item. Some of the punch list items were complete. We're waiting to hear back from the contractor about asphalt patching. Uh, Street Improvement District 2015-3 uh, 73rd Avenue. Um, we finally heard back today from the last person who has a gravel driveway and they do not want any more additional paving. So. Uh, the only thing that remains is the seal coat that has to be done by the end of the month and I will get a schedule from Northern as to when they're going to get that done. I did not have a chance to get you anything on that pedestrian costing chair and I'll try to get it for you by, by next, uh, the next meeting. Okay. And then Olivia's Acres. We received the final plans for that subdivision uh, last week. The last direction from the council was to not do anything with it until the uh, Adelman Acres or Adelman Edition stuff was taken care of. Um, are you guys satisfied with that enough to, that we should look at these plans now? Um, is that where we're where we're I at with that? So, but I haven't seen a final. A final. Uh, oh, I, I saw they were missing. missing that is. I. No, the basketball. I think everything. I think the basketball is up. Yeah, I think all that squared away. I just want somebody to have a visual. It's a hundred percent. Well, I looked at it. I think Perry, you looked at it. That was all. Yeah, so the only thing that I know about out there is that he definitely needs to mow that thing down. I mean, uh, weeds are horrible. Uh, Lucas has sent letters uh, now just recently to the developers that got such a mess in regards to weeds. Noxus weeds, there is a century code in regards that states that cities are supposed to get that controlled. So um, Lucas took care of that. I think it'll get handled, but that's what that's the only thing that I know in the, the Adelman edition that needs to be taken care of. That's I saw it was mud. So now it's weeds. Yeah. yeah. All right. So do you want us to look at the plans or do you want us to, to hold off on like it was? As long as it's done, it's, I'm fine with it. Okay. So well, I think, I think okay. the confirmation should come from the park board too. <coughs> I mean, I, I believe it's what they, everything that they asked for. That's probably know. good. I mean, yeah. Yeah. But that's the same point I said, I wouldn't know what. We should probably, then somebody should be designated from Park Board to go out there and give it a blessing. And it, the, it looks pretty good out there, actually, for what he did for the Park Board. Yeah. I'll talk to Wayne or Julie or yeah. just Shannon. Have somebody. Just have somebody go out and give the, yes, this is what yep. we. So by approving the rezoning or in the looking at the plans and whatever else we are going to have to discuss getting sewer down there now is that something that you want us to look into i know we talked a little bit about it uh, in the last couple meetings we never really got any type of a, a directive from the council uh how, how do, i don't know how do you want to proceed with that i know it's it's probably not gonna be this year project we talked about that it, yep but i think we need an engineering report with a rough estimate I think that's the. the I way think to that's go what through. we're going to need to get yep. started with. But just as long as he's aware that that's not going yeah. to happen this yep. year, we yep. talked about that with him earlier. Yep. I want to make sure he's well, on. There's guarantees next year. year. We yeah. said that we said that at the meeting last. But there's no guarantee it's probably even next year. If it, you know, because again, we're talking about we'd have to assess a whole group of people, and you know, as Sean said, they're getting somewhat assessment happy. <laughs> But I think we're pushing up on infrastructure. We need to let them know that okay. Okay. before they get too hard into yep. spending dollars. Yeah. I think there's some due diligence that, hey, if we're not going to give you sewer till yep. whatever day, we need to be honest with it. Yep. And I don't think that they're going to, this is a privately developed fund, uh, developed development, and I don't think they're going to want to pony up the money if they know there isn't a way to get that sewer out of there. So they'll need some commitment from the city that, and so, or some due diligence on your part that you're going to provide it with it. We did it for Lost River. We provided a letter that said we were going to provide them with the service. So um, I don't think it's a, I think it's a good idea to get going on that, get your estimate and your report and stuff. Right. I guess what I'd say is let's get a, let's get a, um, a 
report together okay. as to what it's going to cost. Yep. Get the preliminary together. That's on that. a good starting point. I'm glad it's July because I think this project needs to be a 2018 project. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. No, I don't. You know, not I know they're we're really not pushing hard to get it going. We're not year. ready. Sure. I, I mean, I'll be happy if we get the other one this, done this year. Okay. Don't when it, there's not a chance it's going to happen. And I think they're not the, without what the first. crazy thing about about it is they're going to be happier because they're going to have a better project. Okay, so the motion from somebody. I'll motion that we do get an engineering report okay. on the sort of. Okay, I'll second that. Dave makes a motion, John it's makes a second. So it'll, it'll actually be the resolution directing engineering to prepare a report. Correct. Okay, so all in favor say aye. 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 All right. Yeah, so let's see what we come up with there. Yep, yep. See what we can. We'll get going on that. Yep. Uh, the last thing that I have, I kind of steal Thir Perry's thunder. I don't. If you go to the last three pages, I believe, David, we've got uh, Mr. Holine here to discuss a little ditch mod or right away modification. Uh, oh, keep that's going. Okay. Yeah, I tagged it online. I wasn't sure Perry was going to tackle it or if he wanted me to do it. So I had the information. Scroll up a little bit, if you would, please. Sorry, I can't spin this. But. No, that, no, I did it too when I did it. So, uh, Mr. Holine's here. Do you want to give a brief update of what you want to do? Or? Sure, sure. In around 2010, Dan, the point, please. So, around 2010, the old bridge that uh, was overhead, you know, iron and with the wood planks, was replaced on 64th Avenue just to the west of County 17. We crossed over into the Greyhawk area on 64th Avenue going west. And when the county did that work, they filled in, they put box culverts in, but they also filled in the ditch at the river. It's a very old ditch that used to take water, carry water to the river long ago. So they filled the ditch in back maybe 150 feet or so uh, from the river bank. Uh, I live further west than that, and my property borders about oh, close to 500 feet on 64th Avenue. The ditch is very deep and steep there, and so uh, I've never been able to mow it. Uh, a couple times I've tried and tipped the tractor over. Scroll down, David, please. This is kind of what it looks like to just rough shots. It's, there's a ditch back there. <laughs> yeah, th there's a ditch. It's always been dry. There's never been water in the ditch. It's kind of a non-functional thing, and I'd like to fill it in. There would still be a low area there, but I'd like to raise the bottom of the ditch about two feet so I could, you know, mow. maintain weeds and mow and that kind of thing. Is that going to... Well, that, what I'm asking you is, um, he's filled out the paperwork, the right-of-way permit and everything like that. What I'm looking for is a direction from Vans to come. He happened to come today, so I figured I'd come to council just to have us look at what he's proposing. And then we can we can report back. That's just um, yeah. We want to make sure yep. it doesn't interfere with something else. Yep, exactly. So. And some of those ditches are so darn steep that I don't know. How many, I mean, you'd have to have a mower with a. The battle. I have yeah, yeah my eighteen year old down. run a little power mower down and back and it takes him about half a day and he, but he needs the exercise, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well he's leaving for college, so please See? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, I don't know if you need to make more sure if we just need to direct it. I don't know how long should we do that. Lucas direction. Or since they did the permit, you know. We did. We don't need a. No, we shouldn't. No. Uh, I mean, just as I a little bit of a, there. just a little Let bit of an, an FYI for you guys yep. too, that when these come forward with the right of way applications and they pay their permit to Perry, uh, Vance has just been directing us. If it's a call driveway culvert or something you know, minor like that, Vance has just been directing us to size the culvert and do some other stuff. So. And okay. we did it for Visto, I think. Uh, I think so. Was it Visto? Yeah. Uh, well. Uh, or, uh, yes. No. Or who was it? Anyway, uh, just a simple email. Yes. Me? There you go. Oh, it was Russ. It was Russ. <laughs> That's right. So the, I guess the only question I have is usually when you have a ditch like that in the wintertime, you get a lot of snow in there. And then it, you know, it kind of helps because as it all, it all melts. So I'm just wondering what would happen once if it goes away. Are you still going to have some sort of ditch in there? Or? Well, yeah, there will be a ditch there. Um, just not know, as I, steep? I, I, there's a kind of a crook in the river, so I actually have rivers on uh, three sides of me, and so the snow doesn't blow around, so it's just like it's wet out in the open fields, it just kind of 
kind of drops and that's where it drops. So they're very guarded with all the trees and yeah. everything. Yeah. You really can see his house from the road. Mm -hmm. All right, that's all I had. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Yes. All right, so move on to portfolio report. Sharon, do you got anything you want to talk about this evening? <coughs> yeah, we're going to order a class. <laughs> She's going to order we a class. are. So I'm going to get Dave's nominees, and then we're going to set up a meeting to, well, what, to give them out. What is this? To do the presentation. The well. Volunteer of the Year class. Oh, so we're going to get them ordered. Maybe we should wait. No, till, she's, I, I, maybe I, I, we should I, I, wait until August when we know that we don't have to spend money. Anyway, we want to get them. Uh -huh. It might be. Okay. Um, what else? Still working on the tracks to trails project. Um, still like to work on the Bean Days, Horace Community Days, but haven't really made any progress since the last meeting on on that. That's pretty much it. Okay. All right, thank you. Brian's not here. Dave, what do you got? Uh, just trying to review uh, um, applications for assistant auditor. Uh, I think the total now I got a few more here. We're fucking pretty close to almost 50 people have applied for it. So wow. Seriously? Yeah, yes. on, on Indeed it added a whole bunch of people, so I find the closet. Goodness. But I reviewed 41 today and I'm gonna try and work with Vance so I can get his feedback too. Okay. So. Goodness, that's incredible. Um, we also have seven applications for the assistant or for the assessor position. Um, one of them was actually from way down south that was an assessor, so I, I don't know how it's going to end up on that one, but we'll let that one go for another week or so and then okay. work with Vance. But as you guys are aware, or Paul, right, is that from Cass County, has, is going to provide us a proposal on mm -hmm. um, managing our assessments or uh, assessor doing that as a contract. Through the, the county. County. through the county. We have not received that, right? Vance? He said July, 1st of July. Okay. Yeah. And boy, I think that's a great deal of... I, yeah, I mean, if he wants interim, to do it... The interim right. one to get us going or whatever, yeah. yes. Yeah. I, think that's I thought he was so busy he didn't want to monkey with it, but if he's if he's in, that would be a good deal. Well, the only know. the only thing, if I may interrupt there, Mr. Mayor, is that, that and I think that's a great thing, he's going to take, he wants to take the permits kind of like month, month to month, and so that when our tax equalization time comes, he's done, he's ready to present it. Yep. So he's not behind. Right. And so I think that's fantastic and he offered to send that proposal. I think it's a great idea. Mm -hmm. So well, yes, we'll have those, you know, the applications or the resumes for those people, point. but I also yeah, think another we have to consider that option as well. Yeah, I think it's a good deal. Yeah. I've been working with, you know, prior to all these years, prior to this, the, uh, the computation of special assessments for all these projects. I outsourced that to a fellow by the name of Dan, uh, by the name of Dan Madsen. Absolutely. And I kind of had to let him go at the end of the year because of failing health and all that stuff. But I met with Mont Pleasure and Mary Matheson at the county here two or three times and they've agreed to take over those duties as well at no charge to the taxpayer. So I'm thinking Paul's gonna come in reasonably good. Good. I hope. That'd be nice. Yep, that'd be cool. I mean, that, that's what I'm thinking. We have these options now. That's good. As opposed to paying a huge salary package. Yep, yep, yep. It, yep. it benefits him, too, because he gets yeah. it all into his system right away. Yeah. And there's no well, it benefits us. We get the Everybody. feedback right yeah. away. I mean, well, it benefits us. It gives posted. us dollars we can do something else with right now where we need it. We need lots of positions and yeah. Yeah. I'll make sure that, this, look at something that else. the board gets when he comes forward all the yeah. way Yeah, perfect. That's it. Okay, good. John, what do you got? Brian and I met with Ken Stokes a couple weeks ago. And one of the, it came from after a meeting we were visiting. And we feel it's time to get some renderings and drawings made up of what we would like our downtown. Certain areas are in our city to look like. And I think it's something that it would give people a visual that they can actually see. Uh, I'd like to recommend, uh, both Brian and I are wanting to recommend that we contract Kim Stokes out. You know, it's a pretty simple deal. He's been with us uh, 
far back that he knows what the city is, and I think get him doing some drawings. And he already has some made from previous projects. So we'll just kind of start off in small stages and see what he comes up with. He did this fire house, right? What's that? He did the fire department. Yep. Yep. But we so kind of put our vision, put our vision of what we say into a picture. Yeah, exactly. And you know, we had different things he's done here. Water. Uh, we talked about that. I think it would be a great idea to start with. So, what kind of numbers are we talking, John? He gave a contract rate, and I believe I forwarded the contract on to everybody. Um, I did not get that. Seventy-five dollars an hour for. Seventy-nine dollars an hour. That's seven hundred. Hundred seventy-nine. Is that what he said? Okay, seventy-nine. And if that's something that we, you know, again, we can get a little bits at a time. We kind of do it as we go. You know, it definitely fits in. I mean, seeing this tonight, the, the, Mr. Chris, Mr. Christensen dropped off to us. This gives us a visual of what potentially we could have. And you talk land space and land coverage, you know, it, it puts things into perspective. Yeah. Is what it does. I mean, that's 20 acres. You know, and we, we took our area up by the school not to go back down that road, but it, it kind of, you think, oh, you need to have retail all the way up and around. And do we really need that? And this kind of puts it more into perspective for us. Because again, our land plan is something we kind of just drew out. We need to evolve that and change as, as things are presented to us and as things change. I, I think it's a good start because it'll give us just some high level conceptual and it allows us to be, you know, I'm kind of thinking of what we're doing is we're trying to be agile in what we do. So this kind of gives us one perspective of it. We now have Brent who can help help us with more planning too. Yep. Kind of bringing them together. It's not setting us in stone or no. anything. It's very high level. It's something, you know, to me, it's to get started, we've got to throw something at the wall to look at and start. And this is just, it's not a lot of money. And like you said, Kim has the background. And if we want to go further, then we put out for bids or do whatever. Yeah, and then you, you, you go to the next level. But it's to give, it's to give everybody more of a conceptual idea yep. as opposed to us just talking about it and all these envision yep. horse meetings. Now you guys, here's a piece of paper or something online where we can show you this is kind of what we're looking at. Now let's start banging away at it. It also comes back to when developers come in and they want to put buildings up, they want to put houses up. Th this is what we're thinking, guys. You know, when you're doing this, this is what we want. It's evolving the overlays like what you're exactly. talking about. Gonna, that's what I was thinking is, yeah. Russ, I talked earlier about the overlay district, and I think that having, having a visual or having a further definition to that, you know, sometimes we forget that, that we have, we even have that. Actually, but it helps you and it helps us. Yeah. Actually, we have that in the ordinance because we can push it for years. Yep. But and you know, we should have it. You know, we should have the definition all the way down to how wide a bike path should be. And like we talked about, street lights, you know, what kind of street light and all, whatever. Everything yeah. should, should have some sort of definition so we mm -hmm. have a nice, contingent looking city okay. going forward. So. And John, there should be no conflict of interest being Stokes sits on P and Z. I don't have, I don't see it. I mean, this is something that it's not being constructed. Right, no construction. No construction. This is this is a conceptual this. plan, yeah. and that's kind of the language I think they use it as. But I, I, I think, think one of the other things too is that Kim's got a vested interest in what the town looks like because he lives here. Oh yeah, does. No, he's really E.T. Exactly. He's E.T. He's not exactly. corporate city limits. Nope. All right. You don't know appoint him. Can't tell me this. But he's got technicalities. But I think it's also the only one in, in town. Well, not that he's... We have I don't, nobody I don't see a conflict. Oh, no, he it, cares. He does. I, he I does. don't see a conflict. I see the opposite, yes. Yeah. I see someone who, who cares and who wants to help the city. But by the same token, he doesn't want to invest a lot of time and not get something for all his work. Right. Which, Should he pay for his work? You know, Brian saw, we, we, we saw a lot of drawings he already had done. And we're looking at this stuff and I'm going, oh my gosh, if we could pull some of his drawings into what we want to do downtown and make it, it would be absolutely rocking. We would have something that nobody else in the area would have. 
Lucas, you got any comments on this? I know we've, we've kind of gone back and forth. I just want to emails. think they should at least get another quote because it, I mean, how much money are we talking? It's going to be set up to $7,900. Yeah. And if we want to put it to a do not exceed number and it's lower, I think 7900 is a lot. And if we need to um, lower that to a do not exceed sign and send it back. Again, this is something that we can do a little bit as we go, and if we see more, then I, I don't have a bit of problem approving this. And yeah, I guess he's, you know, we, even for $5,000, we've had multiple bids because that's kind of our thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, could we easily get somebody something from a small firm in town, too, just a quick? So, I know it's, it's really not, easy. Not, you know, I don't think, I don't think up, we go out to bid for every single thing that we do. I mean, no, we don't, but I already know try to that he cut his, his rates down basically probably close to the half for this because it, it's a concept deal is what it is. It's, you you go anywhere else, you're going to get a higher bid. I already know that. Which is fine. I mean, you just take his bid. I just, I, one, he's on planning, and then two, you're just taking one bid and not we're just, we're, it's it, we're not bidding anything. It's just it's a concept. We asked. It's it's not. I mean, we might do nothing it's a with service. it. We might just put them up on the wall and look at them as pretty pictures. I mean, if you if you put anything out on bids, we are required by statute to take the lowest bid. Correct. No, for this this uh, lowest no, it's it can be you can have. Um, certain requirements that you want to meet. So it's like the lowest response and bidder, the, um, you can do it the, the most responsible bidder. Okay. For your so like the qualifications. Yeah. yeah. The qualifications in it. Okay. So, I make the motion to accept it. What uh, Kim is presenting. Okay. So John makes a motion. And if we so, want to, if you want to cap it, that's if we want to cap it, I appreciate your comments, Lucas. Well, I think it's. I know you're always looking to well, take care of us. On the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> um, I request an amendment to that to cap it at seventy five hundred dollars. Okay. I'll second. I would amend that. I will amend my motion. Uh, seventy five hundred. It's a little too bad. But I'll second it then. Okay. So on that. All right. So the motion's on the floor with an amendment to it. All in favor, say aye. 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 All right. So here we go. Johnny, you got anything else? Nope. That was it. Was uh, does Lucas need to rewrite that and send it back? To make that note. How does that correction get made, or do we just we request him to up? make request him to make a change to okay. not exceed so anything? Is that something you can send up? Okay. I'll respond to okay. All right. We'll move on. Um, for mine, I have been in contact with Brent. We've talked. It's a Friday. I lost track of days here. It was Friday afternoon, right? We had a conversation. He sent an initial um, kind of some recommendations, uh, some key findings on a draft. We kind of went back and forth on that a little bit. I think I sent him back an email. I'm waiting for him to get back to me on that, and I will send that report to you guys then, because we'll kind of we'll have exhausted what I had. And I'll send it to you guys then, and I want some, we'll get some feedback on that. He's got some key recommendations. I think they're all good, but like I said, I want some feedback, so if there's other things that we need to consider. Um, but anyway, that was a, it was a good conversation we had on Friday. Well, yeah, I think now is the absolute most important time to be having these conversations oh, because absolutely, <laughs> that was that thing on Friday too. That was, that was this is timely. I think it probably probably should have done this about a month ago, but that's okay. A year ago, two years yeah. ago. Yeah. But we're on track. We're on track now. Um, he's he's done a lot of exploration on how things are going around here, and I think, like I said, his key recommendations are good. And I've after a time of conversation with them, I, yeah, this is going to be helpful. He will be here, Jim, tell me again, he's going to be here next week, Tuesday, he'll be here for the planning and zoning meeting, Wednesday and Thursday. 
That sounds correct, yeah. yeah. So we're going to have some meetings with him when he's on site here. So is he going to be here Monday? That I I'm not. I don't believe so. I don't think so. I think it's Tuesday he's coming <laughs> in the town. Yep. Okay, because it would be nice if, I mean, it might not be, obviously it's not this month, but maybe next month he puts it on his agenda that he's here so he can visit with Park Board because they could use some insight and some assistance in their planning for future parks, bike paths, et cetera. You know, that whole, what is your vision? I think he can maybe help steer them. I mean, yeah, or we have- Motivate them or give them some suggestions. We're still sitting around 60,000 foot. We haven't really zoned down yet, but yeah, I agree by I mean, next you know, month, they say they regional go. park and they just mm -hmm. put a star, but they don't really know what that means. And yeah. I think he might help put definition to and, and maybe draw from them what sure. they're trying to can, what, what they're trying to get out there because that so, would be really helpful for all so of when us. he's on site here we can talk about that one the next uh, next time he's back in town because I think he wanted to be here on a monthly basis uh, yeah I believe so. so can we think about putting a cap on the number of hours being that the city's paying 100 percent of his time that the park board does want to use his time uh, after X number of general planning hours that they have to pay for mean that we're two different tax entities we can certainly talk about that I mean I certainly believe we need to give them some time to get them started and that kind of stuff but yeah all right I, and I think that's fair for them too you, you know you can have his time up to X number of hours and and because they won't use it past that I'm sure <laughs> got a boy way to be Russ way to be a team player <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's. I was talking to John, and he said he talked to the bonding company, and they're going to try to get it done by July 15th to get the numbers in. And then he said, John said he will be at the meeting. Um, if we have a social meeting on Thursday, he'll be there. Okay. And then I'm going in tomorrow morning early to talk to him. Okay. Oh, so if, if the bonding company has it done by July 15th, the funds are available when? Are we still talking August? Uh, John's making it sound like it should be around that time. August. Um, the middle of July. Okay. So that's well, we'll still specifics we'll first. Still have that conversation. Yeah. We'll see where we're at tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow then. Talk to all of them. But yeah, just perfect. Let you know, it's three weeks in here. Okay, so I'm done with my portfolio. Perry, you're up. Okay, I sent everybody the minutes for P&Z for SharePoint. I was gone last part of the last Friday and that, so I didn't get that turned in. Uh, but uh, there's 49 total permits today. The permits uh, have slowed down a little bit right at the moment. I don't know why, but they have. Um, and at the last meeting, I gave some information. Uh, Brian had at requested some information to look at the permit application and stuff so we can put an application online. And uh, so I gave him that information, and he was going to review it and get back to me. Other than that, the issues that I had was Dan Holine. We've taken care of that. Lakeview Heights and uh, developers agreement in regards to weeds and subdivision and uh, I think Lucas did a fine job to take care of that for me too so uh, that's it I'm done. Uh, Perry I have just uh, one statement on your and Amy will bring up she was not at the last meeting on the 13th so. Why? Amy was not at the meeting you say members present was everyone Amy was not on the meeting oh, okay. on the 13th so you're just gonna have to make that. Okay thank you those. for the correction. No problem. Perry how many new, new homes have been platted to, to date, you said 49 permits, but have those? How many are new? I can't give you that number because the last few uh, they got my permits up at the courthouse because uh, they collected all my 216 permits and they said they'd be back in a short order. But I'll be more than happy to give you a much better detail when we have our next meeting. Okay. And you'll have the HBA one too for the housing, the homeowners association or whatever that me and Vance put together, and so you'll get a full report. Okay. If you could add them to that spreadsheet that I sent you so that we have them by subdivision as well, that would be yeah. great. Uh, did I get a spreadsheet? Permits. Permitted. The spreadsheet uh, is I'll have to look. I'll have to look back and see. You did that last month, I think, then. Uh, no, it was a couple months ago now. Okay. Oh, it was in April because you picked up that stuff right in April and then... Yeah, and I haven't... Nothing's been added since... Okay. Because it I'll was, see what it's, I can, by, it's 
one section's by month, and then there's another that's just totals. I'll see what I can do for totals. you. Okay, you're good. Thank you. Good. Yep. All right. Adam, what do you got? The only uh, exciting thing I got is chestnut. <laughs> we got uh, another storm sewer out there that uh, started to collapse. So we've got both sides of chestnut. It's on the, the north side, west end. Uh, had a couple sinkholes in it. So we've got both those torn up right now. Uh, tomorrow morning they'll get concrete and they'll be pull the cone by Friday probably so we can get traffic back on them. Only other thing on that is kind of falls back on the reconstruction of it. We do have one hump in the storm sewer right where we're fixing. The pipe was standing about three quarters full of water. Unfortunately the hump happens to land right underneath the driveway. <laughs> so talking with Jimmy we've uh, talked a little bit about it and talked about televising before we get real crazy about uh, what we really need to do in there as far as fixing is televise, clean it and televise it. Don't know what the cost would be. We'll look at that. But. This pipe that has got the hump in it too was probably half, well, maybe not half, at least a third full of whatever was washing out of the street was sitting in this pipe. Sure, so yeah. they did clean that today, the Jetway did, in hopes of increasing the capacity of that sewer, at least getting mm -hmm. the sand and gravel and whatever else out of there. So It's, st it's still going to flow when it storms, but it, there's yeah. always going to be water standing. Yeah. How far up the driveway is that from? Well, the driveway doesn't really look like... You can't tell on the driveway that it moved, but it's probably a 12-inch rise in the pipe. Oh, my goodness. It's... These, uh, these from, from, where, from where the the manhole is right next to where we're working... It's like 130 or 140 feet from that, so it's 12. It's about a drive. third of the way into the into the driveway. The way that area moves around there, you think we're under a volcanic, uh, you know, <laughs> well, fault the zone or something. The Good storm grief. sewer structures that they replaced today that were failing were two feet deep. I was going to say thank you for fixing that sinkhole because I saw that last week and I was going to bring it to you guys' just attention. A little oh, my goodness. Yeah. So that's you could like look sort of down and see them. It's about the most excitement I got. It. Okay, cool. All right, thanks. And then I've got dot, 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 and then we get to the auditor. Okay, well, <laughs> I tell you what. <laughs> You're up. Uh, typical what I do every year is uh, we take, I'm going to just go through this real quickly, but at the end of June, you know, halfway through the year, we take a good hard look at this in conjunction with budget time. Yep. So I'm going to go real, get real brief here. We got... Uh, I think I got a new pointer too. Ooh, but it does work on there. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. 1.16 in the general fund. Uh, or excuse me, checking. We've got 1.2 in the general fund. Highway, highway fund's in good shape. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Let's, let's Oops. scroll right. Keep Sorry. going, David, or whoever's driving there. Um, go to the second page of the balance sheet there. And these, these account, yeah, keep going. Keep going. Yeah, keep going. These accounts that are in a deficit position, that's all going to get corrected as this funding comes through. So let's not get too alarmed at that yet. Way in the bottom, if we go to water and sewer, we are working, that is still in a deficit position, but we're going to work on that. Uh, and we are working on that with uh, uh, revenues, raising revenues, so we're going to probably put a big dent in that as time goes on. Uh, next page, I think, is our list Quick of Quick question, um, yes. advance on that. Yes. Has it at least stabilized, or? Yes, it, it has. Oh, okay, good. <coughs> We're going in the right direction anyway. Okay, okay. good. <coughs> we do have 300 and, uh, keep going, David, uh, 336,000 in CDs out there in money market accounts, which we can tap into any time we feel necessary. And as we go to the third page, these are the uh, bond and interest payments that we have due yet this year. Go way down to the bottom, Dave. And the obligations remaining yet this year are about 84 grand. Okay. So we are current and we've got six million in debt here, but uh, that does not include uh, um, Lost River. So that okay. will. So I have a question for you, Vance. On the very first page? Yes. First page of the balance sheet? Yeah, the very first page. If you could go up there. 
you had, um, and I know we've talked about this before, you talked about Sleepy Hollow Riverdale and there were some funds that was yes. in. I am holding. That you had, that you were holding for future whatever. Yes. So that part of that was part of, I don't, I don't remember if it was both, but they were part of, we had talked about a, an assessment district to do an overlay or something. Mm -hmm. And I think it could have been both of these streets. And would it be possible to utilize this these funds to cover the cost of that overlay in that in those developments? Your answer is yes. That's what it's there for. When they were township, that mm -hmm. money went to Cass County. My pleasure sent it back to me as, as the big item X. I don't see it in the So it's, all the way, it's on the very top. Yeah, it's to go all the way to the tippity top. All the way up. 3,000 that those people have in their fund. Yeah, way in the top, Dave. Right there. So right there. The fourth yeah. one down. Oh, uh, wait a minute. 53, 53 right there. No. Yes, that money is available. So that <coughs> would be an option. Because right. we had also talked about the, the reason there, the assessment district was not done and the road project was not put in for this year was because if those neighborhoods are going to be offered sanitary, the option for sanitary sewer within the next, say, three to five years, then why would you put the road in and then rip it up and do that and then do it again? Mm -hmm. So it made more sense to wait and figure out what our long-term plan is before we go back because it's the overlay is not crucial. However, it is something to for the council to know that those funds are available Absolutely. If and when we even go into a sanitary sewer project, that yeah, these neighborhoods do have some money right. that could offset some of the cost too. It it uh, it stands as a liability to me because we do owe that money sometime in the future. Absolutely, mm -hmm. you're right. Okay, thank you. Okay, on the revenue side, uh, go down a little bit farther, Dave. We are in good shape. We're a little bit ahead of, of what we projected there, so that looks good. What's uh What's putting us ahead? What specifically? Let me look. The here. deputies. Just kidding. <laughs> well, we were, you know, State tax property tax revenue that was a little more than I kind of expected. So, okay, we can't complain about that. Should grants, uh, building permits, and street bonds should that be split up? Because street bond money we give back, correct? Yes, we do. So should it be just permits? No. I well, count for both. I, I group them together because as we as we go to the appropriation side here, you will yeah. see that there's money going out. But give it a quick look now. I see. Wow, we've got forty four thousand that we got in building permits. Then I'd have to take another line and subtract it. Does that make sense? Yeah, so. so at the end of the year, we would have total permits that we collected. Okay, I've never. But if you could tell me that number, that's fine. And at I, the end of the year. I could. Okay. But I guess I've always grouped them together, whether right or wrong. But and we still have zero for home state credit, it looks like. Uh, correct. So. Good. So, okay, backing up because your seventy-five thousand for the budget would be permits we collect for the year. Yes. Correct. Hey, I forgot something. Did could you go back to the first page of the balance sheet? I totally spaced this one out. But sales tax revenue. Yeah, well, I was gonna say where was it? Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Down. 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 Uh, right there. But I got a uh, ACH for five dollars and seventeen. Are you cents. kidding me? No. Yeah. Okay, so what's, did you follow up on that at all? Or? Not yet. I'm going to wait till my deposit comes in this month, which should be any day now. Right there. Mm -hmm. So I'm not exactly, sure. I'm just hoping that they're behind. Yeah, well that's what I was wondering, if that might be what the yeah. situation is here, because I can't imagine they can, $5, I they, they can collect that in 10 minutes up at the bar. Yeah, no kidding. So and and what sounds well, I've already paid it on my on my uh, cable bill three you already, times. You already so. paid your five dollars. Yeah, I paid that five bucks. <laughs> yeah, right. Anyway, I'm hoping it will eventually catch up. Yeah. Okay. But the thing you got to remember here now, this is the fund balance. So, if if we collect a thousand dollars in May 
uh, I mean in June and spend 500, you will, it, the net effect is always going to be in your fund balance. Sure. So that would be the money on hand over time. Sure. Okay, let's go to the appropriation statement quickly here because. Uh, Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And yeah. as far as money out of the general fund, keep going down a little bit. We're, we're in good shape here. We budgeted quite a bit of money, and we're, well, we're halfway there, so we'll see what happens. So, all in all, you know, I think we're in pretty good shape. Okay, I was going to say, yeah, you're not seeing anything that we need to be a little bit more uh, cautious of here. Not yet. I think we're right on schedule, actually. Really? Right. We've already blown uh, Lucas's yeah. budget. <laughs> well, that's true, but we, we look at the bottom line, each individual. I know, I know, you can, yeah. we can save in some areas or yeah. whatever. But. <laughs> so, uh, again, I'll go through this in more detail next month, but one quick uh, word on the budget situation this year, there's been a legislative change uh, Bill 2288 that says uh, by August 10th of each year we need to have our budget in place. Okay? Mm -hmm. Very good after this is not going to be a three month deal like it was last year. And I know it took a little longer because you guys are new at it. But we need to have a public hearing uh, sooner than September or no sooner than September 7th to finalize it. What I'm saying is they move everything a month ahead. Yeah, so we're not waiting until October, no. Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what I, I will schedule, what I would like to see, Mr. Mayor, is if it's okay with you, we may be looking at a special meeting in July to, to solely look at our budget because it gets so late at night. No, I would, in fact, I was going to recommend we do that because that is like well, one budget. thing we focus on for the... Yeah. And that would be the only item on the agenda. So mm -hmm. we can take a hard look at it. And well, wouldn't we want our portfolios to bring forward their budgetary portions? Well, you have noticed now. Right, but that I guess that's what I'm saying first is versus well, us as a council looking forward to that. What? You don't want to spend it all. Uh, not only <laughs> me. What I'm going to do, I, hope, I don't know if I'll get at it this week, but I will send you guys some preliminary numbers that I'm going to put together for 18. So you got a lot of time to look at it and study it and think about what we're going to talk about. But I would say tighten your belts. Mm -hmm. uh, let's not get too. No well, state revenue is going down. It's coming this way. So I know, but we have some things that are going to keep punching us in the face. So well, so and our, so, our residents want the services. So let's talk about then, in lieu of that, implementing something like Valley City has, like they have their. R&R budget where they add that infrastructure fee on every utility bill. It's only 10 or 11 bucks. It's the same as we talked about adding vector control and whatever it is, a dollar or two a month. But recouping this in small amounts that, that goes into, so your R&R budget goes into your road repair and your equipment repair and whatever kind of, you know, having that maintenance fund mm -hmm. available because We've never done that as a city, and every time some thing comes up, everything's always out of pocket, and it right. just can't be. I agree. And this way, we have that money available so that we start going into these infrastructure projects. We have money that the city can commit, whatever percentage it is, mm -hmm. that we agree, but it, it's coming out of that, and we've just been collecting it a little bit at a time. Now, so, how we go about doing that, some details. So, Mr. Mayor, I would suggest if you think about this sometime between the after the 10th of July meeting, somewhere between that and the, the 24th, that we have a special meeting so we can take a hard look at the second meeting in July and the first meeting in August because we've got to be done by then. Okay. And it's up to you what you want to call it. Oh. That's all I got. The 17th okay. is the other one in July. Wow. The 17th is the other July meeting. No, it's 24th. 24th. 24th, yeah. Don't you guys meet the first and third Monday? But it's a holiday. Yes, yeah, so you're doing 10th and 17th. 
Oh, and we're doing 10th and 24th. And then we'll get off back on schedule next month. Yeah, yeah we're out of sync on, in July. We're doing the second floor. Okay. Can you make it? Let's do something. How about so this? So we have some question. On the disbursements for general fund checking in May, in a KPH for 180000 I think that was for something else. That was yeah, peer request one. number one. Okay. I covered that. So we we covered the first one. We're already 181 into this. Absolutely. Yep. 100% you are correct. You guys got to think about this now, what you're doing here. Mm -hmm. While you were gone, John talked to, I talked to John, and the buying company said July 15th. Guaranteed it? I'm not going to say that. <laughs> but that's better than August 7th. That's three weeks. Okay, I'm sorry I, I'm slow. But what when do you get a guarantee? I mean, do they just, July 15th? But you can't, you there's no guarantee to determine how long it's going to take to sell a bond. But I'm saying, would you guarantee you're going to get them? If we knew we were going to guarantee them, Guaranteed we get the bonds, I'd feel a lot better. I mean, which we should feel. I mean, there just seems like a little hint of doubt. Well, these bonds get distributed all over the country. Right. Investors take a look at it and say, I'll have a piece of this, a piece of that, whatever. There is there are no guarantees that they will sell. They typically always have. Twenty six. Twenty six I got open. Twenty fifth. Earlier in the week versus later, because I will be a troll and generally ushering most of the last part of July. How's your list of? I was just thinking the twenty the twenty fourth um, of July might be a little bit of an issue for some of us on the council. Sharon said she'd be out of town. We can make that adjustment if we have to. If we have to switch it to the twenty fourth or the twenty sixth. We won't do that tonight. No, let's do it on the tenth. Yeah. Um, so, uh, you Vance, what you're talking is sometime between the tenth and the and our or July tenth and the next meeting is when you'd like yeah, to have that. If we have to go after or later in the month, that's fine. Just yeah. Just I just wanted to, to devote some a specific time period. Agreed. Send something out the week in between. Yep. Okay. Well, it's not perfect to have three in a row. But we'll How do you one. feel about your? Uh, um, on Thursday is our shot off day notice, so hopefully next month's statements will look a lot better. All right. Anybody got anything else here? Otherwise, I'm going to call for a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. John makes a motion. <laughs> Dave was quick for the second. All in favor say aye. 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 All right, we're done. Jim, I have a question for you. Stop it. 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 Stop it.